Hey everybody, welcome to today's video where I'm going to show you how to replace your points condenser on your Onan B-Series engine. Today we'll be doing that on my John Deere 318 with a B43, but this will be very similar on any other makes and model tractors that are also using an Onan B-Series. Alright, so let's get started. The first thing we need to do is go ahead and take off the air cleaner assembly. Okay, so the points are located under this cover right here. There's a single Allen screw that's holding that in, so we'll go ahead and take that off. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the wire off of the points and then remove the points from the engine. Another Allen screws that are holding the points on again. All right, so let's go ahead and put the new points on. I do recommend connecting the wire before you actually bolt the points down. It's a little bit easier to connect it.
All right, so if, before we go ahead and gap the points, we're gonna go ahead and replace the condenser now too. All right, guys, so you might actually run across two different configurations of the condenser. So I wanna let you know that ahead of time here, and you can check out what you have before you order parts. The uh, kit that I ordered from John Deere is this one right here. And it actually came with this condenser. And where that condenser is supposed to go is down here, right next to the points. You can see that right there. So you can see on the right side of the screen there, the points mount to that screw, and then the, the wire would go the same place that the other wire and the points goes. My tractor has a condenser right over here, which would be this style. So that's something to keep in mind before you go ahead and order parts. Um, I didn't look at that and I got this one in. I can make do and make it work right now, but since mine has the other style, I'm gonna kind of use this and I happen to have a, one of these on the shelf. So no big deal. Just something to look out for before you start work. All right, so what we need to do now is go ahead and rotate the engine around until the point gap opens up as wide as it's going to open up. And then we're going to want to adjust that to 16 thousandths. So for that, we'll need a feeler gauge for 16 thousandths of an inch. And I'm just using a screwdriver on the flywheel to gradually rotate the engine around. The adjustment is this Allen screw right here. So we'll just use that to go ahead and adjust our gap. small. Just want a slight amount of drag on the filler gauge. Okay, 
Okay, so I think we're ready to go ahead and uh, fire it up, see how it runs before we put the air cleaner back on. So it seems to be running pretty good. Um, putting the rest of it back together is just the cover for the points and the air cleaner. Um, just pretty much the reverse of removal. So I'm not really going to show that. Um, hopefully this video was helpful. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.